My name's Martha and I'm from Gants Hill in Essex. At Davy Game I'm studying biology, chemistry and psychology and I hope to finish off by studying psychology at Reading. I'm going to go and meet John Dalton later for some extra help with revision techniques. So have you got any techniques to help with revision for my science exams? Yes, there are some basic tips and there are some more specific tips. Basic tips are fairly obvious but people sometimes forget them. You must have a copy of your specification, the right specification, it must be the up-to-date specification. You must have the right textbooks. In addition to your uh, standard textbooks, it's always useful to have uh, some additional textbooks. That will include dictionaries, dictionaries for biology, chemistry, physics. Very useful, definitions are very important in science. Sometimes an American textbook as an additional textbook is useful because it's very visual and they're very good at visual learning and they also take you from sort of GCSE up through to A level and slightly higher so you get a, a, a good flow of information. So you need your ordinary textbooks and maybe a US textbook although that's not so important what is important to have your key textbooks. You also need copies of past papers and you need to understand how the exam is structured and what is expected of you. Other more specific things will include where and how you revise. What you're really trying to achieve in revision is understanding and memory. And they're all linked to memory. And it's linked to short-term short memory and encoding it into long-term memory. And that process requires repetition, it requires understanding, and it also requires that you're not distracted while you're doing it. So you need a quiet place, you need to revise for 20 to 40 minutes at a time. It's quality, not quantity. It doesn't make sense to revise for three, four hours in one go. Students think they're doing something good. Well, they're trying their best, but the outcome may not be as good. It's important to discipline yourself for accuracy. So when you're looking at units, you must understand that if a quantitative question asks you to specify something such as 16, you can't just write 16, you have to write 16.0. Be accurate and you must use the correct units. This is how you lose marks you must be specific in terminology. For example, in biology, it's often better to use the term allele than gene. It's a more accurate term. Also, it's important to pay attention to graphs, axes, labelling, making sure that you've answered the question. You've used keywords and phrases. It's very important also to understand what are the keywords. So when you're revising a complex topic, break it down into discrete units, identify the keywords and phrases. First of all, try and understand the concepts involved. If you don't understand the basic concepts involved, trying to learn it is very difficult because all you're going to do is try and memorize concepts without really understanding them. So it is critical to get that understanding and to read your textbooks, lay it out. If you can get, for example, at home, a little whiteboard and write things out and have a flow pitch, try and do it visually, that can also help put the pieces together because learning can be like sort of putting a jigsaw puzzle together. The important thing to remember is that whatever you read, goes into your head. It's, it's, it's available. Because when you come out of an exam, you think, oh my God, I've, 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 I, I, I know that. The reason for that is because it's available, you just can't access it. And that's a very powerful thing for revision, that everything you read is available in your head. The skill in revision is also not just putting it in, encoding it, but learning to access it. Because it's already there in your mind. What you've got to do in the exam is go to those parts of your brain and access that information. It's a really nice atmosphere, it's really relaxed and it's not like strict like school. Um, the teachers are really good and really helpful. Whenever you need any extra help, you can go and find them. When I looked at David Game College, it was a really friendly atmosphere. The teachers are really helpful and it's also really easy to get to on the central line, which is great for me.